Hello friends, it's Elsa here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be packing up for my sophomore year of college. I cannot believe that I leave for college in literally two days. It doesn't even seem real. The summer flew by and I just can't believe we're already here. But yeah, I basically not packed anything and so I'm a little bit behind on schedule, but that's okay. We're not gonna stress. We're gonna just get it done together. So hopefully this will encourage you if you're needing to pack for something or you just wanna hang out with with me for the day. I hope you will enjoy this video and yeah before we get into it make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already and if you like this video please give it the big thumbs up for me and yeah let's just get right into the packing. Alright so first I think I'm going to start with the shoes just because that's something super easy and simple and quick. The goal will be not to bring too many pairs of shoes because last semester my shoe rack could not even hold all my shoes so we're going to try to get it down to like seven eight pairs of shoes maybe. So yeah, also apologies if my room is a disaster. I mean, look, it's kind of exploding all over the place, but you know, that's just the process of packing. So for the shoes, I always like to put my shoes in like a Walmart sack or some type of like plastic bag just so the bottoms don't like get all over my suitcase because I don't know, for me, that's just like really gross to me. So I'm just gonna go through kind of what I'm bringing really quickly. I'm gonna bring these Reebok sneakers. These are just really nice to have for just like any outfit that's like casual and it goes with so many things. I like how it's got like the pink on the back. These ones I actually found at a thrift store for 12 bucks. So I'm gonna bring flip-flops as well. And then I've got these black flats for obviously my concerts that I have to plan for violin. All right, so this is three pairs of shoes already, which is kind of crazy. It's really bad how fast it adds up, but I feel like girls just have so many shoes. I don't know, I don't know why. And then I've just got my running shoes right here. And in the same bag, I'm gonna bring these black sandals. And then I've got my high top platform Converse. These go with literally everything. I wear them so often. So I'm gonna actually put these in a box just because I don't want them getting dinged up or something. And then I'll probably add in another pair of sandals and then obviously shower shoes, but I will probably do that later. Oh my gosh, and I almost forgot. I have to bring these little black heels because I think it's just nice to bring some type of like fancier shoe in case you have somewhere fancy to go. I probably won't, but I did use them quite a bit last year, so I'm gonna bring them again. I tend to overpack, way overpack on clothing, so this time around, I'm gonna try to pack very minimally, trying to pack only the essential things, things that I know that I'm gonna wear, because if I'm not gonna wear it in college, then I'm not bringing it. I think the easiest way would probably be to just like, put it all in a pile, a huge mountain pile of clothing, and then sort it out and fold it later. So that's what we're gonna do, so let's go. I just don't know guys if this is all gonna fit into suitcases, but we're gonna have to make it work. I'm just with this big pile of clothes right now. I'm gonna go through it one more time, just kind of sort it and organize it and make sure that I actually wanna take it because there's a lot of clothes here and I don't really wanna pack all this. Uh, but if it's necessary, I will. Thankfully, I don't have to be like worried about being under the 50 pounds for the luggage since we're driving to Texas. I'm just gonna kind of organize this and then we'll put it all into the suitcase. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, it's been kind of a chaotic day. I did fold all the clothes that I wanted and I went through them with my mom. She helped me decide which things I'm gonna bring and which things I'm gonna leave at home. And then if I wanna get them later, I can always get them when I come back for Thanksgiving. So yeah, it was kind of a tedious process. I'm very indecisive, so that probably plays into it. All right, let's put all these clothes into this suitcase. It always clothes ranging from from a movie scene to made of people in my dreams the last time if I recall all right so I have about half of the clothes in the suitcase now it fit really nicely so I really like when you kind of I guess fold the clothes first and then just put them in piles and then you can just put the piles literally right into the suitcase that is super easy next I'm going to be putting the cowboy boots in here I need to make myself wear these because I really want to. I just never wore them last year, but this year is going to be different, so we're going to wear them. I'm going to pack them kind of in this back compartment here. And then there's still quite a bit of space here, so I think I'm just going to put other like sweatshirts and stuff on top here flat, and then I can just like secure them in with this little um, band here. I miss the sun Just wait, it won't be too long Till we arrive the coming day Please ignore my restless face Cause it's so hard to keep it all together ever since Honestly guys, I'm so hot packing all this I don't know what it is Packing just is exhausting And it's summer, so it's also hot I'm gonna make sure that I bring my black socks and black little footies. That'll be helpful for symphony concerts. Close! <laughs> Second suitcase is filled. Hello friends, it is the next day. Happy Sunday. This morning I went to church, said goodbye to all my friends and people at my church and that was really sad. But anyway, I ate lunch and we're back here packing. So I'm gonna start with my jewelry for today. There's a lot and I kind of love to hoard it and I don't need to bring that much. So I'm gonna try to pare it down again and hopefully we can get it to something a little bit more manageable because I don't wanna bring a bunch of stuff that I'm not gonna wear. And then I have a little jewelry organizer that I'm bringing in one of my bins that I have downstairs. So I'll just put it on that once I get to school. But for now, they're just going in little bags. Honestly, this weather outside is kind of fitting my mood because it's kind of sad leaving for school. But at the same time, I'm excited. But yeah, it's kind of cloudy out today. All right, so for this next part, I think I'm gonna try just to go through each type of jewelry first. So I'm gonna go through all my necklaces, then all my bracelets, earrings, etc., and just kind of pick the ones that I wear most often, the ones that I want to bring. Because again, I'm trying to be minimal with this. I'm trying to be a minimalist. And bring only the things that I will actually wear. So this is the earring organizer, I've got all the posts here, and then some bigger hoops right here. And so hopefully this will stay this way during the trip, although I have a feeling it's all gonna get completely jumbled up, but that's okay. We know it's all in here somewhere. Now I'm gonna do the bracelets, and so I've got a lot of these random bags that I'm gonna just put them in. Uh, some of these are kind of fun. I got these like different trips I've been on. This one was from South Dakota. This one is one of my mom's friends made out of guitar strings. So that was really cool. These are really pretty. So I'm gonna bring these for sure. 
So these are all kind of like my hard bracelets, I guess you could say. And then these over here are just little friendship bracelets that I made over the summer. And lastly, for the necklaces, I'm just gonna put them into this heart little glass jar. Probably isn't the best way of doing it, but it's what I'm gonna be doing. And then when I get there, I can just kind of use this jar for anything cute around my room because obviously I'm not gonna keep the necklaces in here and definitely that is just literally for a little travel thing. So here we go. All right, so I've got all the jewelry here and I'm just gonna put it into these pockets right here. All right, we have finished packing all the jewelry so that can be checked off the list. Super excited about that. We're getting closer guys, I promise. So now I'm just gonna go to the bathroom to grab the toiletries and I actually am gonna put it in a different little bag than my two big suitcases. My mom has this like little craft bag that was used to like drag around like different, I guess, scrapbooking supplies. So we're gonna use that to carry all the toiletries just so I don't have to try to like smash it into these two. So we're talking soap, conditioner, curling irons, hair accessories. So yeah, let's go pick that stuff out right now. Okay, so welcome to my bathroom. I am gonna be packing all of this that you see here into this little black bag right here. And if you're interested to see exactly what I'm bringing, no worries, I have another video. It's my ultimate college packing list video. So I'll link that in the cards for you guys if you want to watch that that's super helpful if you're kind of unsure what to bring for college but right here I've just got basically all the toiletry stuff and I also have to put like hair accessories and stuff like that so I'm gonna be packing this up and yeah let's just time lapse this So I packed up all the toiletries, so that's good. But now we've got to deal with the hair accessories and the makeup. And I'll just show you my counter. It's kind of covered in all my stuff. I don't know, I feel like it's all essential, but I know it's not. I just have a big problem with like hair clips because I love putting my hair up in little claw clips or little cute like Asian clips. I don't know, that's just my thing. I just have an obsession with that as well as stationary. So I have to hold myself back. So I'm hoping that I can bring all this, but if not, I might have to pare it down again. But anyway, this is kind of what we're looking at. It's kind of a disaster. As you can see, I just have so many hair clips and I don't know, they're just all so cute and like, I don't understand what I'll be able to leave. And like these clips are like so pretty. This one is from Hong Kong. And I've got like this one here that's like a little, oh, it's tangled, sorry. But it's like a little hairpin and it's really pretty. <laughs> to at least this much I mean it's a lot but honestly it's gonna be with me for the entire school year so I think it's necessary but I just have the clips and this kind of hard little storage little thing that I found it'll be nice because it's kind of protective a little bit so I'll just have to make it sure that I put it in some type of bin with some kind of like bubble wrap or something so we've got the hair accessories done now it's on to the makeup. I honestly have just not been wearing so much of it because a lot of it's been like breaking me out. So I don't know if that's just like me. Let me know, like do you break out when you wear makeup? I mean, even like really high quality makeup is making me break out. Like, I don't know why my skin just doesn't like it. So I'm probably not gonna bring a ton just because I'm probably not gonna wear it. So I'm just gonna leave everything that I don't wear and just bring like a thing of blush, maybe some chapstick. Mascara. High up in the sky, cruising through the night. Alright, hello 
Hello friends, happy Monday. It's about 2 p.m. and we are about five minutes from heading out to Texas. I cannot believe this day has come. We did a great job packing, so thank you so much for joining me. But basically yesterday, I just kind of finished up some rough things of packing. Didn't film all of it, obviously, but we got the bins in the car, we got things loaded, and we're ready to go. So I'm very excited for this next chapter in my life, becoming a sophomore in college. And yeah, thanks again so much for staying with me for the journey of packing. I hope it was kind of fun to hang out with me for the day. Wish us luck because we're heading off right now, but thank you again for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! It's been so long since I called someone home Thought it was real but there's no signal on your phone Should've known, yeah, it was all wrong, yeah I just really need someone to come and hold me